For teachers, we've created a basic but powerful set of features that are intended to give the teacher control over the technology that's being introduced in the classroom, uh, as well as the ability to orchestrate the activities in the classroom. If we take a look at the desktops tab, the first thing that we're doing is allowing the teacher to see a thumbnail of the activity of every workstation that is under management here. With a simple double click, a teacher can zoom in to see if a student is struggling or off task. And we can simply uh, return to this view and see a range of tasks that are available either for the individual workstation selected or for all the workstations uh, generally. One very simple but very powerful tool if you picture a classroom of students who are excited to be using this new technology, surfing the web, playing educational games, whatever, the um, ability to, with one click, block all of the stations and keyboards and mice such that the students have to pay attention to the teacher as part of the teaching experience. Another opportunity that the teacher has is if there's going to be an internet-based piece of instruction to enter in a particular uh, website or domain where the class needs to be focused uh, as they're uh, accessing information through the internet. Another very powerful feature to uh, allow teachers to uh, interact with the students in new ways is the ability to broadcast the teacher's screen to each of the screens in the classroom. Similarly, to select a student screen and broadcast that to the rest of the students is an example of how an assignment should be done. Last thing I'd like to point out for you in this space is that we have a fair amount of blank space here that we've deliberately left for partners to be able to take advantage of an SDK which allows them to build additional, perhaps richer functionality and incorporate that experience into the multipoint manager experience. That's just a few of the top level features that we, uh, we have in 2011. If you would like to learn more, please visit this website and I'd like to thank you for your interest in Windows Multipoint Server.